Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy Chris with the next. <clears throat> Had to adjust my throat. Let me clear my throat. <coughs> All right. So I just wanted to talk about the whole Miley Cyrus situation, um, about her being Trump supporter. Um. All right. So she came out in a mag. She came out in a magazine saying that rap was that rap was dirty and that she didn't want to like be a part of that. It's something about you know she wanted a guy that's you know respectable, but not just saying come sit on my dick or whatever. Yeah, we already kind of like knew this day was going to come, just didn't know when. You know, I've been said it before. You know, I already knew she's. A culture appropriation. A lot of people have said it. You know, she can do all that crazy ratchet stuff, and this will go back to being white in Lily, just like she was on um, the Hannah Montana show and um, Hannah Montana versus Miley Cyrus. We already knew that. She wants to go back to her country roots. I already knew she was culture vulture. You know, how can you sit up here talking about you know? you don't like you know, rap anymore but it, yet in the same breath you use the black community to shed that you no know, good girl image to be taken seriously or to be taken like a different artist you know you, you use that to kill Miley Cyrus well not Miley Cyrus sorry Hannah Montana shed your Disney um, image you know taking your clothes off twerking slinging my neck my back you know 23 wearing a um, Jordan jersey, uh, but now all of a sudden now you want to now you want to get Trump supporters on your side. Now when Obama was in office, he was twerking. Now he's out of office. Now you want now you want to go back to your country roots. You want to give Trump supporters a chance. Yeah, we already knew he was close to voting. You know, so you're gonna have to take the L, just like Justin Bieber same thing when he wanted to shed that you know that wholesome clean cut image you know that that's what they do they use you know they use the black community they want to use the whole you know um, ratchet party you know twerk drink let's drink up twerk gangster get let me get tattoos let me pose nude we, we already knew that was coming we already knew that was going to happen so you know, I would have respected it more if she would have been like, you know what, I'm not in that space anymore, you know. I'm just, you know, I already had my fun, I, you know, I'm not in that space anymore. You know, I'm not really trying to, you know, be ratchet anymore. You know, I would I would have respected her more if she would have said something like that, you know. Yeah, I want to go back to my country roots, you know. I, I just want to show people that I wasn't just a, a country artist, you know. I want to try something different, you know. Because everybody wants to reinvent themselves, you know, and it's really cool, you know. Some people have, you know, a main, like, main area, but they want to try other music. You know, a lot of artists have done it before her and that will come after her. A lot of people have reinvented themselves, you know. Madonna, um, Barry White, a lot, a lot of other artists have done it. But the way that she went about it, it just was cultural appropriation. You know, I would respect her more if she would have said she was just wasn't in that space anymore. And that, you know, she didn't like dudes that were, you know, just a uh, one-night stand. So that's just my whole take on it. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Till then, it's been your boy, Chris with X. Peace.